So this episode is a preview of my course where I show you how to build a complete Rails application using Tailwind, Hotwire, and the latest version of Rails. I'll teach you how to build a Twitter clone from start to finish and walk you through all the major features that you need. So after the video, if you like this content, head down to the description and you'll find a link where you can pre-order and save a lot of money on the course. Thanks. So we've been moving pretty quickly here and it's time we do some cleanup. So I'll first want to start by just um, changing our menu items here. So these were obviously copied across from my starter project and aren't really relevant. So we'll go in and update our navigation. So if we go into our application file, we'll see we loop over our nav links here. And um, we're going to just delete these nav links because we use those as like a static kind of place to put your navigation. But um, for this app, we're going to want to build up the links dynamically, especially the link to your profile, which needs to have your username in it. So we're just going to delete that We'll go to nav link model and delete and then we'll go into our application controller and go down to where our nav links are and we'll just delete that as well from there and um, instead of looping over these now we're just going to create each one individually so we'll have our first one as home and that is going to link to root path um, and then we'll copy that and we'll say explore. And for now, that can be just explore, but won't actually be set up. And then we'll have our profile, which will go to uh, username underscore path for our current dot user dot username. And we'll need to add a check in here to just say if user signed in. So we won't display profile if you're not logged in. And then the final one that we want to put in is notifications. And we don't have a link for that yet either. So we'll just put in notifications. And uh, that is also if you're signed in. So we'll maybe just put that around here and say if user signed in. And then we can remove from the end of both of these. So if we go back to our app and hit reload, um, we get undefined method username path, and that's because I called it show profile path, I think. Yep. So we then have profile, which will go to your own profile um, homepage. Explore and notifications are not hooked up yet, um, but we will get to those in a future episode. So next we're going to look at our tests. So we've been moving pretty quickly and haven't fixed or added any tests. So I'm just going to run the test suite of our app here and we're expecting that there's going to be some failures. And we've got a bunch of failures here. So our post routing spec, we don't even have posts and I don't really write tests for routes either. So we'll just delete that. And um, then we have our tweet spec, profile spec, post spec. Again, we've deleted posts so we can delete that. And we have pages request spec, which just checks the home page. So there's an error loading the home page. I expect that is probably to do with rendering the tweet form when there's no user signed in. So we need to fix that issue. Um, and then lesson spec, again, we are not using lessons that was carried over from my starter project. So we'll just delete that. And then registration spec again, um, this one, if we run it, uh, we need to have a username field. So if we run this test and that's gonna fail, and then we need to just go in here and say, fill in username with Jane. 
and we'll just run this again and now it passes so we fixed that one and um, next up is our pages request spec where it renders the home page this is actually the tweets index page so we'll maybe just um, delete this and move it to tweets because that's a better place to have it so we've got tweets index here which actually is the home page right now and we can just expect that has a successful response and this is obviously signed out as well so um, tweets is uh, expecting you to be signed in so we can go here and we can say skip before action and if we go to our pages controller we can see exactly how you do that so it's just authenticate so we can say skip before action authenticate and then we only want to do that on index and show the other pages here for new and create we want to ensure that you're signed in for that so we can now run this again and you can see we get an issue with the avatar component as part of the tweet form so we should not be loading our tweet form unless you're signed in so let's we'll put if user signed in and then we can run that spec again and hopefully that will be back to passing which it is now we haven't actually built uh, a screen yet for clicking on an individual tweet so we'll leave that one alone for now and then we also um, we don't have a new page for a tweet right now either so we'll um, maybe just get rid of that because the tweet form is just pulled in on the root page so we'll instead say like post uh, tweets and we'll say it creates a tweet and so we can then go here and say post tweets and that will take params tweet and body and we can say hello world and then we can say expect response to be successful and we can also then say expect tweet.last.body to equal and we can say hello world and then what we need to do here is sign in so we're going to say sign in users pete and then let's rerun so that now works and we probably want to go in here and make sure that it creates the tweet under that user so we'll say let user be users pete and then even do a before action here for the sign in and then we can come down and say user dot tweets dot last to make sure that the tweet is created with that user account which it is um, so that is good for our tweets now we want to run more specs here and just see uh, what else is still broken so we have uh, spec requests for a registration as well which again needs a username so we can just say new user and then rerun this so we've got three failures and um, so that's one of them no root matches get profiles edit so our profile specs need work done and Profile show again is another one of the failures. So let's check that we've got this one passing first. And we do just by adding in our username and then profiles here. And um, we actually want that to be get username. So we want that to be uh, get and then we'll say user dot username. We'll load up a user here. And we maybe want this to test when signed in and when signed out and we just want to check that that works in both scenarios so we can run this first one before signed out which fails on the signed in one which passes so we need to go to our profiles controller and we need to do the same 
skip before action authenticate only show and so edit profile we're going to make sure that you're logged in for that so if we go back and run this test we're now passing and this one should still pass as well and then we have our profiles edit which isn't implemented yet and we're going to take a look at that in the next episode